Hello Internet, RD Lady here and in this video I'm going to show you how to extract 3D models and 3D animations from games that were made in Unreal Engine. But before you begin following all the steps of this tutorial, I recommend that you go to the main website of the tool that we're going to use, the UModel Viewer, and then after clicking here in Compatibility table, make sure that your game is listed here in this table. If the game that you want to extract the models and animations from is listed here, it means that this method is going to work. In my case, I'm going to be extracting the 3D models and animations from the game Paladins as an example. So I'm going to look for the game Paladins in this compatibility table. But if the game that you want to extract the models and animations from is not listed here, but it was developed in Unreal Engine, I recommend that you follow the steps of this tutorial because maybe this method is going to work. But if the game was not developed in Unreal Engine, it's not worth it to follow all these steps because it's not going to work. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to download the tool that we're going to use to do all the extractions of models and animations. The name of this extraction tool is Unreal Engine Resource Viewer and I'm going to leave a link to download this tool in the description of this video. After downloading the extraction tool, I'm going to copy it to my desktop just to make it easier to work with it. And this tool is compressed in zip format, so you're going to need WinZip, WinRAR or 7-zip to extract this tool. After extracting and entering in this folder, let's double click at umodel.exe for executing the extraction tool. And the first thing we're going to do in this interface is to select the path to the game where we want to extract the models from. And we're gonna do this by clicking in this button. This button is gonna open a browser and I'm gonna navigate through this browser until I reach the root folder where is the game that I want to extract the models from. In my case, I want to extract the 3D models and animations from the game Paladins. And since the Paladins is a Steam game, so I'm browsing through the Steam folders until I find the folder that has the name of the game that I want to extract the models from. If this is the first time that you are trying to extract the models from your game, you can leave this option unchecked. But in my case, I know that Paladins won't work if I leave this automatic game detection enabled. So I'm gonna have to specify manually what is the game that I want to extract. So you can try first the automatic game detection and if that doesn't work, then you can try the manual detection. And in the manual detection, you can specify what version of Unreal Engine is used by your game of interest. In my case, I know that Paladins uses Unreal Engine 3. And here at this menu on the right, you can select which is the game name that you want to extract the models from. Of course, if the name of the game is listed here. You can enable additional options as well as extracting the audio from the game, for example. And then we just have to click in OK. And if you selected the correct folder and the correct options, this window is going to show a list of all the assets in the game. So now let's scan all the game content by going here in this little arrow that is on the right side of the tools button. And then we're going to click in scan content. If the scan worked, now we should be able to see the number of animations, textures and skeletons that are showing up for each asset on the screen. Some of the assets will not show anything. Now let's click in one of those assets and let's press Ctrl A to select everything. And let's click in export. If the extraction worked, a folder named umodel export should show up at the same folder where is our extraction tool. Subfolders inside this umodel export folder usually have names that are similar to assets or character names in the game. In my case, I'm looking for the Drogo's character, so I'm gonna look for a subfolder that has his name. The animation files are usually in PSA format and the skeletal meshes usually have PSK format. Now that we extracted these files, we need to convert them to a format that is supported by most of the 3D animations and 3D modeling programs. And for doing this conversion, we're gonna download the ActorX Importer plugin for 3ds Max. I'm gonna leave a download link for this plugin in the description of this video. So I'm gonna download this plugin and I'm gonna copy it to the same folder where is our extractor tool and I'm gonna extract it to another subfolder. Now let's open 3ds Max, let's click here in the menu scripting and let's click in run script. So here let's go to the folder that we have just downloaded and extracted and inside that folder let's click in the script actor x importer. A new window should open and then we're gonna click here in import PSK so we can import one of the skeletal meshes in PSK format that we have extracted. 
if you find a model like in my case here that is divided in different parts i suggest that you import forest the head or smaller limbs and after that you import the body of the model or the largest part in this case the order that we import things will affect the final results and things can get messed up if you don't follow this order here is the imported 3d model but we can see that the textures were not imported correctly so you're gonna have to fix this problem and for fixing this we're gonna click here in material editor and after that we're gonna click here in pick material from object and after that we have to click in the 3d model for extracting its material Let's double click in this bitmap here that looks like a black image and let's click in this bitmap called Drogo's Wings so we can find a texture that can replace this broken link to the file. Once we have fixed the texture for that bitmap, now let's fix the texture for the second bitmap doing the same thing. Now that we fixed the texture for Drogo's body, let's go ahead and fix the textures for his head. And we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna click in pick material from object and then we're gonna click in his head. And after that we're gonna fix this bitmap that has a broken link by selecting the correct texture file. Before importing any animation, first we have to check if the bone hierarchy of this skeleton is correct. Just by a first look here, we can see that the hierarchy is wrong because there is a spine bone outside of the skeleton. The correct hierarchy should be like this. The spine bone is parent of spine 1, which is parent of spine 2. So let's take this spine 2 bone and let's drag and drop it where it should be. So the spine 2 should be child of the spine 1 bone. And that's how the correct hierarchy of the skeletal mesh should look like. If you want to hide all the skeletal bones so they don't pollute the visualization of your model, you can go here in the skeleton and right click on it. Then you can click in select child nodes and then you can click in his eye to hide all the bones. The Drogo's character has a gun, so I want to import his gun before importing any animations as well. I wasn't able to find Drogo's gun in the asset folder with his name, so I just used the file browser here and I searched for Drogo's to find any file that had weapon in its name or an abbreviation of it. And in the end I was able to find his gun in another folder called device. So I'll leave this tip here, if you can't find the character that you want to extract, you can just use the window search and look for the name of the character of interest in order to find a folder or a file name that matches to the character that you want to extract. So now I'm gonna use again the Actor X importer for importing Drogo's weapon, but his weapon is gonna be imported with the incorrect textures again. So you're gonna have to fix this problem doing the same thing that we did before. And before placing this weapon in its correct place, we're gonna have to delete this skin modifier that was imported with this model. So for doing this, we're gonna go here in the Modify tab, we're gonna right click in the Skin Modifier, and then we're gonna click in Delete. If we don't do this, we're not gonna be able to move this model. Now I just have to use the Move and Rotate tools for placing the weapon model in the correct location. Now we can finally go back here to the Modify tab, we can click here in this Modifier list and we can finally add back the Skin Modifier. And now I'm gonna go back to the skeleton just to check what is the name of the bone of his arm. So I'm gonna add this arm bone to the Skin Modifier of the weapon so the weapon can follow his arm. 
now that I know the correct name of the bone, I'm gonna go back here to the skin modifier of the weapon and I'm gonna click in the add button so I can add the correct bone to the weapon so the weapon can follow that bone. And now we are ready for importing all the animations for this model. But before importing any animations, don't forget to save a backup of your project. Because sometimes when you import an animation, it can cause problems and you can lose all your project. So for importing animations, we just have to click here in Import PSA. And I'm gonna browse here to the Drogo's asset folder. And usually the animations are stored in the folder named Anim Set. So I'm gonna select one of these PSA files here and I'm gonna open it. If everything worked well, you're gonna see a list of animations loaded here in the screen. If you double click in any of these animations here, it will be automatically imported to our project in 3ds Max. So for example, I'm gonna double click here in the fire animation and it's already loaded here in the screen. So now I just have to click in the play button to play the animation here in the screen. And you can repeat this to any of these animations in this list. I will just show a few animations here as an example. So let's say that you like this animation and you want to use this animation in another modeler or 3D animation program or a game engine of your preference. For doing that, we just have to go here in the file menu and then we click in export and then you just have to save this file in FBX format, which is a format accepted by most of the 3D modeling, 3D animation and game developing software. Before exporting, don't forget to enable the animation option and the bake animation option as well. I used to enable smoothing groups. I usually uncheck this option here in the geometry section as well, which is convert the forming dummies to bones, just to make sure that it will not mess up the skeleton. After that, you just have to click in OK and our FBX animation will be exported. Now let's say that you want to export automatically all these animations. For doing that, we gotta go here to the scripting menu and then I'm gonna click in run script and then we're gonna select the export FBX script that came together with our actor X importer. After that, you just have to click in export animations. So all the animations are gonna be loaded in the screen and they're gonna be exported automatically in FBX format. All these exported animations in FBX format are gonna be in our asset folder, in the Drogos folder, in my case, in the subfolder anim set. Now that all the exports are complete, if we go to the anim set folder of our game asset, there's gonna be a new subfolder called FBX, and inside this subfolder, there are gonna be a lot of FBX files. Each file corresponds to one of the animations from the list. Now let's see if the exporting process worked. Now I'm gonna reset 3ds Max and I'm gonna try to import one of those FBX files. For doing that I'm gonna go here in the menu File and then I'm gonna click in Import and I'm gonna select one of those FBX files that we have just exported. Here in the Importing options I'm just gonna check the Fuel Timeline option. And here is our 3D animations of the Drogos character from the game Paladins. I'm not gonna show here in this video how to import this animation to Unreal Engine because I have shown that before in another video, so I'm gonna leave a link to access that previous tutorial in the description of this video. So if you wanna learn how to import these animations into Unreal Engine, don't forget to check the video in the description. I hope that you liked this video, if this video was useful for you, don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe to this channel to receive new tutorials. And I'll see you next time, bye bye!